In mid-May, we go to a wild area in Buttermilk Falls State Park in Ithaca, New York. So I'm sitting here on the edge of Owl Gorge, one of our little sitting spots, perching spots, on the edge of Buttermilk Falls State Park. And uh, turn around and look at myself. Oh no, I'm not a bandit. I actually am a little sensitive to all the tree pollen that's out there. The trees, the maples, the ashes, the birches, and what have you, are just exploding pollen. Which is a good thing for them, but uh, for those of us that have allergies to pollen, which I've developed in recent years, it's a um, bit of a um, nuisance, but, uh, you know, just cover up the face and not worry about what you look like and go on out about your business and enjoy the world. I noticed down here in Al Gorge on the edge of it here there is a flowering dogwood. Now they're not so common as they used to be. They're not terribly common around here but uh, because of a disease that has uh, affected them throughout the eastern U.S. But uh, here's one here trying to bloom on the edge of Owl Gorge. That's very cool. Then right on the edge of the gorge here, the rim of the gorge, there are a couple of trees that aren't that common in this area, one more than the other. The first one is red cedar, and this is just the sort of place it likes to grow, right on cliffs, sometimes along the cliffs along the lake, and on the um, sun-exposed uh, gorge rims, particularly when they're facing south or west, which is kind of what this does. And then right next to it, a much less common tree around here, is the pitch pine, which uh, I've only seen, well, I won't say only, but mostly seen in the same sort of location, and particularly dry locations, on the rims of gorges around here. You find a lot of it along the coast, the sandy coast. But uh, here in central New York, with the limey soils and not that much sand and so forth, uh, you don't find a lot of pitch pine. Pitch pine is uh, particularly distinguished by its needles. There's only, well, needles of uh, pines are in little bundles. And this is three to a bunch. White pine is five. And red pine is two needles to a bunch. And this also has a very characteristic bark. It's very kind of rough and plated. Like we see here, this pine is uh, in rough shape. I don't know how long it'll last. It's lost some of its limbs. In fact, there's a stump down here that someone cut from a pitch pine that has died in this spot. So they're just not that common. And um, I hate to see them go when they do. Right next to it is another red cedar 